make backgrounds for my Instagram stories or backgrounds for my Instagram posts. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Diane and I am a digital tie-dye pattern designer. I say digital because somebody called me a fake tie-dye designer on social media. I'm not hating, whatever. There is a reason why I say digital because everything I do, I create in Photoshop as digital design. So just to clarify that comment, but you know, whatever, to each their own. So guys, we're actually gonna use my set of Inkblot tie-dye Procreate brushes for this tutorial. You can actually check this out on my Creative Market shop or uh, you can check it out on my Shopify store. I do have a coupon code for $5 off any product on my Shopify store. Just subscribe and you'll get the coupon code in your email. For this video, we are going to create a tie-dye background for Instagram stories or for Instagram posts. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So we're actually going to make this pattern right here. Before we get there, let's go ahead and I'll walk you through how to create a new document in Procreate. So we wanna go over here to the plus button and then we'll click on the icon at the top there with the plus. So for Instagram stories, we wanna create something that's vertical. So Instagram stories dimension are gonna be 1080 by 1920 pixels. So uh, DPI, you can keep it at 132 or 72 DPI. It's totally up to you. So we'll go ahead and create this. All right, now once we're in here, we wanna make sure if you are using the digital tie-dye brush set for Procreate, you're actually gonna find that here once you've installed it. But if you wanna use something else, any of these stock brushes that comes with Procreate, you're more than welcome to use that. But for this actual tutorial, we're gonna use two of the brushes from the brush set that I have. We're gonna choose Inkblot 12. So we'll go ahead and click away here. And then we also wanna make sure that we are tapping each of the shapes in different layers. I know it gets a little bit tedious. That's just so that we can move them around. For this one, we're gonna go ahead and pick a color. I'm gonna pick blue. So I'm gonna make like a cloudy tie-dye wallpaper background. So let's go ahead and pick blue. And then for the first shape, we can go here to the left and right side and we can adjust the opacity of the brush and increase or decrease the size of the brush. And let's start out with that size first and then we'll just go ahead and tap it. So that was a very light tap. I'm gonna go ahead and click on undo and do it again, this time a little bit harder to tap with. So there, we got something that has a little bit more detail and you can see the design. And then if we want to increase the size of that, we can go ahead and press the top arrow button on the top left. And then we could just drag the corners out to make it a little bit bigger. And you could do this any way you want. And so just remember that once you put it to the corner here, Procreate will cut it out of the canvas. If you do decide you wanted to move it later, it's gonna get all funky. So what I suggest is leaving it here. What you can do is you can duplicate this layer so we'll have two of them. So that way, if you wanted to experiment with the other ones, for the top one, we'll go ahead and move it to the corner that way. And then we'll just click out of it and then we'll choose the second layer and we'll move it. You can even rotate it however you want. And maybe we can add it here to the corner uh, just to give it a little bit of a balance. But before we do that, let's go ahead and duplicate this one just to save for time, for time's sake, especially if you're creating these for social media weekly, you wanna have like a template so that you kinda of just go back to it and reuse it. For this one, we'll keep this at the bottom and then we'll make it a little bit bigger and rotate it 
to get some variation. The third layer, we'll go ahead and move this one. Before I have it cut, I'm going to duplicate that again. And this will probably be the last time I duplicate this. And I'll choose another brush for the next couple ones. So for this one, let's go ahead and make this slightly smaller. And then for this, if we did want to lower the opacity for this layer, we can click on the end, lower the opacity so we can get something a little bit different. And you could do that for each of the other shapes as well. So for the bottom one, I think I want to change the opacity a little bit on that one too. So yeah, that's looking cool. So for the top layer, I think it was the fourth one. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and decrease the size of this significantly. And I want to put it here in the corner. And then once I have the shape that I want, I'll go to layers and then we can lower down the opacity on this one. Now let's create a new layer and then we'll go ahead and choose another one. And this one's a little bit more scattered, inkblot 11. Go ahead and tap. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. You can move this around, make it a little bit bigger. Just have fun with it. And then if we think that's a little too dark, we can always lower down the opacity so that it looks like it'll blend a little bit more we'll create a new layer let's choose a different brush let's choose number 13. so this one's a little bit more blockier in shape it's gonna look like that maybe i want it a little bit smaller okay you know as always you can resize the shape to however you want it to look so maybe i want it to look like this then now we can lower down the opacity as well there's a lot of different ways to experiment and do this but i thought i'd give you just like a little basic tutorial on how to create an Instagram wallpaper. And then let's just finish this off again. I'm gonna use the same brush that I did earlier. Let's increase the size and then just tap. And then let's see, where do I wanna put this? Maybe somewhere here. This is all just experimenting to see what works. And if you did want to have text, you can add a new layer. And then we can go to this little wrench right here in the icon, top left. We can click on add text. From there, we can type in the text we want. So let's just say, quote, here. So yeah, you can add whatever you want, or if you wanted to add an image on top of it, you can most certainly do that. If I didn't want to do a quote and I wanted to add an image, let's go ahead and create a new layer. You would have to do is you would go to add, insert a photo. Let's just say I was promoting product and I wanted to add it. For example, so let's say I was promoting this product. This is one of my tie-dye patterns on a product. So then I would just do that. And then I think on Instagram stories, you can actually add the text before you post it. If you like the way that looks, then you can go ahead and share it. You can save it as a JPEG. Let's see here, save image. And there you have it. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or let me know. All right, I'll see you guys next time.